Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel where I do some gardening, paper crafting, and once a month I show the Heartfelt Creations release. And this is the release for May of 2021. It is the Floral Butterfly Collection and it is beautiful. Um, they've been doing a lot of pastels and there's pastels in here but there's really great pops of gorgeous colors and of course the butterfly images themselves are just so sweet. I love working with butterflies and uh, I mean images and stamping and coloring and painting and stuff. Such wonderful creatures. I saw my first monarch today. Look at how these gorgeous colors they're going to show up throughout the whole thing it's like the rainbow beautiful purples and lovely blues there's some wonderful turquoise this is a lovely little uh, banner that you could use in your layout page and of course if you don't know about heartfelt they have a layout page on one side and then you could cut those out and make cards with them on the other side Here's a lovely little bouquet with a couple of the butterflies. This one is um, gorgeous, the huge butterfly. Wait till I show you that. And of course, some beautiful little additives all over the Heartfelt Creations paper. We got a little bit of the postmarking coming back now. Here's another one with the smaller cards. Again, you just cut these out and put them on the small card stock. And you put your sentiment here and boom you have a card but you can do so much more if you want to I haven't had much time some of you know I've had a bit of a, a shake up in my household haven't many of us over these months and I've been trying to adjust to a new circumstance so I haven't done a lot of card making but I hope to um, get something made with these because they're just beautiful so here's a couple of the postcards in the background which I love having those images and uh, I know that they have been sort of not showing up as much in paper crafting but I'm glad to see the heartfelt using it again beautiful butterfly some of the posies and a little saying in the corner my future begins today and a beautiful layout page these are very pretty. These are some of the tags. I like the way that they have um, placed them with in a, a darker or lighter background and then the pop of the little vases and the butterflies and the posies. Really, really pretty colors. I love purple and turquoise together and there's quite a few combinations of those two in this paper and there's the other side with a cute little butterfly over in the corner some of our gates over here a little bit of the um, what do they call it maritime symbol in the background this white lacy behind the butterflies there's just so many layers to it and then um, the script running throughout and another lovely one with a very light light green and some very very uh, delicate touches of some cranberry almost mixed with this beautiful cranberry butterfly blue posies again the little postmark up in the top corner oh they're so pretty I love this I think I would have liked that for wallpaper when I was a little girl <laughs> So all these different size butterflies with the posies, this is great for background, great for a layout page, great to line the inside of a box that you're going to give as a gift. Gorgeous. Here's a nice very light green. It's got some of the fern leaves, which we will see again in a moment when I show you the stamps. This butterfly actually is quite sweet. Practically has a expression on and I was just out picking some chives today that flower does at the moment remind me of chives great time for chives I know chives have a flavor all year long but they really for like two weeks in the spring they are just incredible and they're very easy to grow I'll have to get a garden video together a beautiful stripe with teeny little butterflies and posies mixed with this nice lacy turquoise and the pops of the cranberry very well done very pretty and here's a 
uh, this page, one of the pages that you can cut out. There's three sheets of that. So if you just have the die, and you, or if you just don't have the time, you can just take your dies and pop these out. Start putting some dimension to them. Pop them up on your cards. Very pretty. And then on the back, this lovely design with a combination of many of the colors: the raspberries, the turquoise, the lime green, a pretty blue. Look at these. Look at these butterflies. Oh my gosh. Now see, these definitely makes me want to create. They're enormous and they're gorgeous. It's almost like they're wearing lace themselves. And the colors, I just really like these color combinations. So cheery. Such a nice pop. Blended in with some of the pastel colors. A very nice light lime green on the other side. Oh, look at this. I mean, if you love pink, if you love purple, if you love turquoise, if you love blue. Okay, I love all those. <laughs> Again, you can just take your die and pop these out. Bend their wings on the right and the left. Put a little glitter and a sentiment. You got a gorgeous card. Took you just a few seconds. Aren't these colors beautiful? And I really like the work with this, butterf with this butterfly. I love the way the little leaves on the stem almost nice designs right here almost a paisley coming out at the edge it looks like the eyes yes this purple and this yellow popping against each other is very nice sorry i need to move on a beautiful purple background and of course if you look really carefully it looks like lace but it's the butterflies it's lacy butterflies Two six by sixes of the larger papers and some more of the beautiful small cards. A lovely blue. Oh, I love this. Really pretty blue color. Yeah, I hope it shows up on your screen. So pretty. More of the six by sixes and the turquoise. Gorgeous. I mean, these three colors are these, are these the jewels? Can you call these jewels? I call them jewels. Beautiful. More of the six by sixes and a lovely plaid with a little bit of light, light green and yellow, a uh, blue, the purple, the pink, they got the turquoise, almost all the colors in that plaid and the tag page that we're used to. Just so cute with all these little butterflies and posies popping out. And then you can stamp your own sentiments on these ones. There's the tickets, some stamps and a more neutral beige tone on the other side. So there's the papers. Now let me get the uh, let me get the stamps and the dies and I just want to leave some of these larger butterflies in the background for this because oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. The floral butterfly accents. So you get the little butterfly, some posies, a very lovely fern. I mean if you can Look at the intricacy on that stamp. Just beautiful. Here's your sizes for your stamp set. And then here is the die that set that goes with it. Gorgeous. A small floral butterfly. So you get all these butterflies. And they all have different designs. You know, so you're not doing five different sizes of the same butterfly. Each one of them has their own designs. So pretty, you can really see that in the black and white. There's your sizes and the small floral butterfly dies. And then this guy is so big, he ended up with a bigger die. So you have this beautiful large butterfly and this little cluster. Look at that design, really pretty. So this is five and a half by four and a half, this butterfly. And I'll just pop this out so that you can take a look. Look at the size of this. That's a big stamp. That is a big stamp. It takes up almost the whole rectangle, but there's your little trailing butterfly stamp as well. And then the die would have to be large because they're usually the same size box, but you have to have that part that you can cut out along the edge there. So there's the large floral butterfly die. These are beautiful. Thank you, Hartfeld. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at them. I will be back. I think I'm going to try to do a project with these and I would love to show you what I'm doing in the garden because if you are into gardening, I am planting 
tons of cut flowers. My little stand across the street has eggs and plants and little tulip bouquets right now and I would love to share some of that with you so I hope you come back and take a look at those things when I get a chance to put a video together. I've been running around trying to do a lot. Maybe I'll tell you some of the story in a gardening video. Till next time everybody, huckleberryherbs.com if you want some of the older heartfelt stuff. I don't have these in the store quite yet. And uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a, uh, give me a comment, say hello. It's been a while. Till next time, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.